I'm going to show you how to properly etch a glass using Armor Etch Cream. Stay tuned and I will show you how to do it. All right, let's get started. So first off, I have this glass that I got from the Dollar Tree. I really, really like these tall square glasses. I think it's going to be perfect for what I'm going to do today. Um, I just posted a video actually on my second channel. So go check that out. It's this Southern Girl Can Chalk. I will link to it up here. I did this small glass that says Tropical Vibes. And in this one, I'm going to be using this Life is a Beach Transfer from Chalk Couture. If y'all follow me on any form of social media, you know that I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. It's really fun stuff. I'll put a bunch of links in the description box down below so that y'all can please go check all that out. But we're going to be using this stencil and we're also going to be using Armor Etch Cream. So you're going to need that. You're also going to need a paintbrush. This is one of my unicorn paintbrushes I got from Hobby Lobby. A chalk couture silicone squeegee scissors and your glass. This glass has already been cleaned with acetone. I'm just looking at it to see if it has any little fuzzies on it. Just wiping it with my shirt. But anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about Armor Etch. I've been using Armor Etch for a very, very long time with really good success. And I'm going to tell y'all what I have learned over the years of using this. Now, I know a lot of people will tell you to use one of these sponge applicators, dab it on, and then just let it sit. Don't do that. That's going to give you splotches. It's going to give you streaks. It's going to be a very uneven etch. So don't use one of those. Use a paintbrush and use the technique that I'm getting ready to show you in this video. Also, you can wear gloves with this if you're going to touch it with your hands. I'm not wearing gloves. I know somebody's going to say, you need to be wearing gloves. No, I don't need to be wearing gloves because I'm not touching it. Okay? But if you're actually going to touch it with your hands, you do need to wear gloves because this could wreak havoc on your skin. So, let me just cut this little guy out here. Now, when you apply your transfer... Don't press it down with your fingers. That's another mistake people make. And then the oil from their skin gets on your surface, whatever you're etching, and the cream can't really break through it as well, and you're going to get uneven results. So as you can see, I'm just pulling off my transfer here. I'm going to fuzz it one good time just by placing it down on this towel here and pulling it off. Now I'm going to decide where to put the little darling. I'm just going to barely stick that down. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to press it down, press it down. It doesn't matter if you get like any little ripples or creases in the green part here. Let me zoom in for a second. It doesn't really matter if you're going to get any creases in the green part here because that is not where the cream is going to go through. It is going to go through this clear part here. And that is what you want to be nice and smooth. Now, a lot of people also say with Armor Etch, well, you need to leave it on for like an hour. The longer you leave it on, the more it will etch. No, it won't. Okay? No, it won't. It's only designed to etch to a certain point. And the longer you leave it on does not mean that you're going to get a deeper etch. In fact, what you can do is you're going to make what they call scorch marks on your glass and it's not going to look very nice. Okay, so leave it on for the amount of time that I'm getting ready to tell you. And you will be fine. Alright, so I believe that this is on here really, really well. Like I said, please look in the description box down below. I'm going to have some links to my Chalk Couture site where you can purchase these transfers. I'll also have a link to where you can get Armor Etch. Now, you really want to make sure that you shake this up, stir it well, so that it's not all clumpy and separated. Now, like I said, don't use one of these. Use a paintbrush, okay? And what you're going to do is just scoop out some of this cream and just kind of pile it all on there like this. Now, some people just put it on there like that and then they leave it. Okay, don't do that. What you want to do is, once you get it piled on initially, take your paintbrush and we're going to just start working it, working it, working it, going in one direction, 
okay, for about five minutes, okay? So for five minutes, we're gonna work it with our paintbrush. And this time, you see how I'm going down like this. Now, once I get all the way down to the bottom here, see how I'm just kind of working it like this. Now I'm gonna come back up to the top. I'm gonna go sideways. Okay, you wanna keep going in different directions. Don't keep working it on in the same direction. Keep going in different directions. And what that does is it really helps to work the cream through the transfer onto the glass and it won't leave streaks. It will not be splotchy. It will not be streaky. Now I'm gonna to try to go like in a diagonal motion. Like this, diagonal. And then I'm gonna go back to going up and down like this. And yes, my bottle of Armor Etch <laughs> is not exactly brand new. And it has like some little, um, some little particles in it. But if you get a brand new bottle, it won't do this. So just keep working it. Like I said, for a good five minutes. And as you can see, I just scooped a little bit more out of the bottle. Some people, you can go in little circles like this. I don't, I just like to go in straight directions like this. So for five full minutes, I'm gonna just keep working it, working it, working it. Then after that five minutes, I'm gonna let it sit for another 10. So all total, you're gonna have your cream on this glass and on this transfer for five minutes. It will not mess up the transfer. It is not gonna mess up your brush. Just when you're done with this portion here, when your five minutes is over, go rinse your brush out with some warm water. So like I said, I'm gonna time this for five minutes and then just let it sit still. After I pile more on, just let it sit still for an extra 10. And then you should get a really, really good result doing it that way. So let me work on this. And then after it sits, I'll come back and show you what it looks like once I take off the transfer. So hold on just a second. Okay, y'all. So I worked that around for about five minutes. And then I set it off to the side and just let it rest for 10 minutes. Now, I want to show you all this. Um, like I said, my bottle of Armor Etch is not brand new. It's been sitting for a little bit. As you can see, it has some little blobs in it, these little crystals. If you get a brand new bottle of Armor Etch and you're using it, and you see these little crystals, that does not mean that the product is bad, okay? These little crystals will just automatically form, and I'm not really too worried about it right now, because I'm only working on one glass. But like if I was going to be using it on a whole bunch of things, I would put the lid on the Armor Etch Cream, put it in a pot of hot tap water, okay? Don't boil the water, don't heat it up above tap water, okay? Just hot tap water and let it sit there for about 15 minutes, okay? And a lot of those crystals will dissolve. Now, if the crystals won't dissolve, you know, just take your brush, and just kind of place them over here on a piece of your uh, transfer or stencil, whatever you're using. You, you don't want it setting on the glass part because what those crystals can do is they can actually create little scorch marks on your glass, okay? And we don't want that. So now what we're going to do, now if you want to, you can just take this directly to your sink, rinse it off really, really well, and then pull your transfer off. But for me, I'm just going to take this little squeegee here and scrape off some of the excess, and I'm just going to wipe it on this paper towel. So I'm just going to scrape it off because I don't want it to like get all over my sink, for one. I'm just going to scrape off a whole lot of it so that it could just go directly into the garbage. Some people scrape this off and reuse it and, you know, put it back into the container. You can do that if you want to. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends on the mood I'm in. <laughs> So now I've got most of it scraped off and you can also take this and go rinse it now that you scraped it off. But I want to pull up the transfer just so that y'all can see what it looks like. Just carefully pull it off. How cute is that? And that is what the design looks like. Of course, it still has the cream on it. So I'm gonna take my transfer. My hand is stuck. <laughs> I'm going to take my transfer and I'm going to rinse this off in cool water, let it dry sticky side up, okay? For now, I'm going to set it over there. 
Now what I'm going to do with my paintbrush, I'm going to rinse it really, really well with warm water. For the glass, I'm going to rinse it under warm water. When I'm sure all of the cream has washed away, then I'm just going to take my hand and wash it really, really well, really gently. And when you do that, once your design gets wet, it's probably going to kind of disappear and you're not going to see it. You're going to be like, ah, you know what happened? It didn't work. Yes, I'm sure it did work, but when it is wet, it just doesn't show up as well. So let it dry. Okay, let it dry thoroughly. Then you will see the design. And this is permanent. Excuse me, it etches the glass. I know um, Hobby Lobby does have some paint that talks about glass etching, but what that is, is actually like an overlay. It's a paint that gives you a frosted glass effect. So over time, it will chip off. This is not going to chip off. It is permanent. It is on there, okay? So how cute is this glass? I think I want to do another one, maybe with the life's of beach and maybe with some seashells or something on it. But anyway, I'm going to go rinse this off and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Hold on just a minute. Alrighty, here we are. It has been washed and rinsed and fully dried. And this is what it looks like. How cute is that? Now I need to go back to Dollar Tree and get a whole set of these glasses. I only got two because uh, they were stocking them. And now I need to go back and get more. But that is what it looks like. I need to go take this label off as well. But anyway, you get the idea. I have a lot of links in the description box that you need to check out. It's uh, to my Chalk Couture site. It's also to my other uh, channel, my website. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.